A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Those who had been scattered by the persecution that arose because of Stephen went as far as Phoenicia, Cyprus, and Antioch, preaching the word to no one but Jews. There were some patriots and Cyrenians among them, however, who came to Antioch and began to speak to the Greeks as well, proclaiming the Lord Jesus. The hand of the Lord was with them, and a great number who believed turned to the Lord. The news about them reached the ears of the church in Jerusalem, and they sent Barnabas to go to Antioch. When he arrived and saw the grace of God, he rejoiced and encouraged them all to remain faithful to the Lord in the firmness of the heart, for he was a good man and filled with the Holy Spirit and faith. And a large number of people was added to the Lord. Then he went to Tarsus to look for Saul. And when he found him, he brought him to Antioch. For the whole year they met with the church and taught a large number of people. And it was in Antioch that the disciples were first called Christians. The word of the Lord. The responsorial song. All you nations, praise the Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. His foundation upon the holy mountain, the Lord loves the gate of Zion more than any dwelling of Jacob. Glorious things are said of you, O city of God. All you nations, praise the Lord. I tell of Egypt, Babylon, among those who know the Lord, the Felicia, Tyro, Ethiopia. This man was born there, in Zion they shall say, one of all were born in her, and he who has established her is the Most High Lord. All you nations, praise the Lord. They shall note when the peoples are enrolled. This man was born there, and all shall sing in their festive dance. My home is within you. All you nations, praise the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. I am the good shepherd, says the Lord. I know my sheep and they know me. Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. The feast of the dedication was taking place in Jerusalem. It was winter and Jesus walked about in the temple area on the portico of Solomon. So the Jews gathered around him and said to him, 
How long are you going to keep us in suspense? If you are the Christ, tell us plainly. Jesus answered them, I told you and you do not believe. The works I do in my Father's name testify to me, but you do not believe because you are not among my sheep. My sheep hear my voice. I know them and they follow me. I give them eternal life and they shall never perish. No one can take them out of my hand. My Father who has given them to me is greater than all and no one can take one take them out of the father's hand the father and i are one the gospel of the lord We have uh, a, a larger expansion of Sunday's Gospel that we hear again today. We heard the latter part of it. We get the context uh, of what's happening in this chapter of the Good Shepherd. Uh, Jesus is in Jerusalem in the wintertime for what we know today is the Feast of Hanukkah, then the dedication, the anniversary of the dedication of the temple, or as we call it as well, the Festival of Light, the miraculous burning of oil in the temple when it was rededicated that lasted for eight days, even though there was only enough consecrated oil for one day. You can imagine Jesus saying at that point, I am the light, I am the light. Uh, we get these uh, images of the shepherd and they, they should be very comforting images, but I hope challenging images as well. How do we be his sheep better? As we hear, by knowing him. We do that by listening to his voice and realizing that in the works he does, he is glorified. And that work is you and me, huh? the works that we do, for we do them in his name. We who bear the name Christians as they did for the first time in Antioch. We are the ones who by our love and by our dedication preach in our deeds and our works that Christ is risen. In simplicity of heart then, let us ask our Father for all that we need to live as his people. And let our response be, risen Lord, hear our prayer. The church leaders may be inspired and guided by the good shepherd as they take care of his flock. We pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the people in Ukraine, for the unity of people of every nation, tribe and tongue, for all who bear the burden of poverty or prejudice, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That those who do not yet believe in Christ might hear his voice and be welcomed into the community of the faithful, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer that all who are persecuted for their faith may be protected from harm and gain religious freedom, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. That our community of faith may be guided by the Holy Spirit in our work to build up the kingdom of God on earth, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For the intention of Juan Fernando Nava, for whom this Mass is offered, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, especially Remedios 
V. Espinoza and Malvern M. Casey Jr. for whom this Mass is offered. May they rest in the peace of eternal life with Christ, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. And once again, in the silence of our hearts, we lift to God our own needs and those needs that have been offered to us by others. For all these needs, we pray. Risen Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, through the intercession of Saint Damien Wester, Damien of Malachi, priest and leper, hear the prayers that we bring to you in the name of your Son, Jesus. For he is risen from the dead, and he wants the world to know that in our love is your love. He lives with you in the Father, one with the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Pray now, my sisters and my brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. Grant, we pray, O Lord, that we may always find delight in these Paschal mysteries, so that the renewal constantly at work within us may be the cause of our unending joy. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. With Lift up your hearts. Your Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. Right it is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But in this time, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ became our Paschal sacrifice. By the oblation of his body, he brought the sacrifice of old to its fulfillment in the, rea in the reality of the cross. And by commending himself to you for our salvation, showed himself to be the priest, the altar, and the lamb of sacrifice. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts, sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. 
Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this all of you and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, and Gregory John, our Bishop, his brother Bishop Bernard and Joel, the order of bishops, all the clergy, and your priestly people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, the glory of the Lord, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever 
and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer one another a sign of Christ's peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, my soul shall be healed. Glory to God, glory, oh praise him, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory, oh praise the name of the Lord. Glory to God, glory, oh praise him, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Bless the Lord, all you works of the Lord. Praise and glorify him forever. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise him, alleluia. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Sun and moon, bless the Lord. Praise and glorify him forever. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise him, alleluia. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord. Praise the Lord, all you birds of the sky. Praise and glorify him forever. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise him, hallelujah. Glory to God, glory. Oh, praise the name of the Lord.
Let us pray. Hear, O Lord, our prayers, that this most holy exchange by which you have redeemed us may bring your help in this present life and ensure for us eternal gladness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in peace, glorifying the Lord with your lives. Thanks be to God. And once again, let us ask our Blessed Lady's protection on this day, throughout the rest of our hours, and for whatever may come. Sure. Regina Celi Letare, Alleluia. Quia quemeru isti portare, Alleluia. Resurrexit sicut dixit. Alleluia. Ora pro nobis Deum. Alleluia. Thank you. God bless. Have a good day.